today's 3D areola is going to be a lighter Fitzpatrick one or two style, and we're using World Famous Pigments Pink Ribbon Collection. And this time I'm gonna start with a 10-9 round magnum mast cartridge. I actually like using these cartridges on latex because it has a tighter needle configuration and it will actually fill in the latex a little bit smoother than the 13 or 15 curved magnum, which will leave a little bit more spacing in between each dot because it's a wider needle configuration. My machine speed is at about a four and a half or five and a half volts. I wanna be on the slower side as I make a small circle in a tight pattern because I want to make sure that not only am I not dragging the needle in the skin, but that I am just implanting a very small amount of pigment each time I make a circle, concentrating more of my color saturation towards the bottom half of the areola, where if the light is truly being obstructed by a three-dimensional nipple, there will be more shadow and more highlight towards the top than at the bottom. This areola color that I'm using is actually Permablend Lux, the Power Through Peach collection by Vicki Martin's Unstoppable. And I wanted to try this one out, but the rest of the colors are gonna be world famous pink ribbon collection and they do blend very beautifully together. Now it's time to switch back to my single or three round liner, depending on your preference. I have some single round liners at home. So I'm going back in with a medium mauve pink color and I'm just outlining where I want my nipple to be. And there's some imperfections on this latex pad. So I'm trying to focus those towards the center of that nipple in order to help blend it in with some shading. I'm also going to start shading towards the bottom of the nipple and areola because I want to make sure that's where my densest amount of shadow is and just filling it in until it has a nice color blend between the two. Many clients have areola or Montgomery glands, little sebaceous oil glands along the surface of the areola. So I like to take my second darkest pigment color and just tap, tap, tap with pointillism into those areas of shading on the areola where it looks like there's some light and dark. And I really wanna exaggerate that shadow to make it look like there's some lumps and bumps on the skin, which makes it appear to have more texture than just a flat areola. If the client doesn't have these, I don't add them, but I personally feel like it does help exaggerate the texture and realism of the areola tissue.
Next, I'm gonna add some constriction lines or creases around the areola tissue. That's where you're going to see the skin move, whether the client is cold and excited and the tissue moves up and down on the skin. You wanna have some wrinkles, which again, add texture and help to exaggerate the movement that you would see on real anatomical human tissue. Next, I'm going to go back and exaggerate the shadow that's not only at the base of the nipple, but it's also going to be underneath as a cast shadow on the areola and a little bit more shadow and texture around those constriction lines to truly make it look like the skin has movement to it. I like to use whip shading, but if you're not confident with that, you can stick with mostly pointillism or a stippling technique, but I like to use whip shading because I find that it does accomplish the same goal and adds a little bit more of a uneven pattern texture. Again, we're talking about human skin, so this is not body art. You don't want everything to be a perfect straight line, perfectly even color saturation. You want things to be a little asymmetrical, a little lighter and darker in different areas because that's what truly makes it look like human tissue versus just a sticker or a stamp on the skin. Our final step to any 3D realism tattoo is adding the white highlight, which appears to be the light on in the room. And this is our final step for any 3D realism tattoo. If you want to find out more, make sure you follow me here on TikTok and YouTube, and we will check out different areola styles for different clients.